This is a booster box, 24 packs of Lorcana cards. We all know what these are. And this is a blister case, 42 sleeved booster packs. Kinda like these, meant for individual sale. So although the company has never said what the odds are of opening certain rarities in these booster boxes, we and the rest of the Lorcana community have opened enough of them by now to get a general feel for how rare certain cards are. So when we found this box, we wanted to see are our odds of hitting big cards in blister packs better, worse, or the same as in a booster box? Let's find out. All right, we're going to open a blister case. Or yeah. booster, booster sleeved. sleeved. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so while Aaron's opening this box, I'm going to talk about this product a little bit. So um, these are the sleeved blisters that you see in uh, different retail stores, you know, up on shelves, Target, etc. cetera. Um, and they come in these cases uh, when the distributors go and put them out. Oh, they're stacked differently than I thought they were going to be. Yeah. And so uh, these are from Floodborne. And so they come in this case here. There's 42 per um, case. And we're gonna do, what we're going to do, uh, you know, as we said in the intro, we're going to figure out um, kind of, I don't know, based on this one small sample size, you know, how are our odds compared to a booster box? So doing some math here while Aaron's breaking all of these out, um, this is a lot harder than doing a booster box. Yeah. <laughs> I actually might, like, take some of the packs out of the cardboard while you're talking through okay. this and then get just some packs ready to go. Okay. That sounds good. So, yeah. So, um, kind of the the idea here, if you want the scissors, they're right here. Um, I got it. So, doing some math here, if if we base, this is based on our own observation and also just doing some research online. Nobody knows the exact kind of pull rates of a lot of these, but... Um, Again, based on our observation, what you can expect is about one legendary card um, per every, well, okay. So about four per box is about average. We've seen three per box, but four per box is about average. So it's about one per 22 packs. I'm sorry, four per 22 packs. Um, and then that puts the legendary card per blister case at about seven uh, with 42 packs. So if we get more than seven in here, we're doing better, I think, than the average of, of two boxes. Um, for four legendary cards, you're looking at about one per every two boxes or so, um, and that should come out to about 0.6 in this booster case. So, um, if we get one, um, we're one four legendary card. We're doing we're doing good. Um, for enchanted cards, that's you know the real wild. Uh, I don't know enchanted man. If we get enchanted, we're doing good. But enchanted <laughs> are about about one per 96 is the anecdotal kind of evidence for that. So we have like a 50 percent chance. Yeah, that works out to about one per case. Um, so you have about a 50 percent chance of getting one here. You can expect 0.44 of an enchanted card in this box. Um, going out over here, but super rares. You can expect about 21 in here. Uh, I think there's an average of about uh, 12 per booster box. And so here we can expect about 21. And then foil super rares, this is about one per box, I think uh, is the average. So here we can expect about 1.75. So um, to kind of summarize, if the probability fall and what that we see in booster boxes uh, carries over here, we should expect about seven legendary cards, about um, 0.6 for legendary cards. So if we get one, we're doing we're doing all right. You know, if we get two, we're doing really well. Um, you can kind of expect to see maybe one here. Um, Enchanteds, again, you're not, uh, you're about a 50% chance of hitting one, a little under that, 0.44. Um, and then Super Rare is about 21, and Foil Super Rare is about 1.75. And we'll keep going, you know, over this as, as we go, but I don't yes. know. These are a lot harder to open. Wow. I do not recommend. <laughs> do not recommend. I've almost got like half of them done, so I'm going to go ahead and finish up this like half, and then we'll get I thought started. you were going to open like the cardboard as you go, but... I was thinking about, like, I'll probably do that for the second half, or we might have to take an intermission in the middle so I can, like, do this again. There are no intermissions. No intermissions. You gotta keep it on but, screen. Uh, well, no, I know, but you can, I don't oh, know, yeah, I can blab talk, about I can talk about the things. amazingness of the thing while I open yeah. the rest of them, but I just thought that this would be easier to go ahead while you were doing mathy math things to go ahead and get them all, like, out-ish. Yeah. So, anyway, okay, here we go. Are we ready? Yeah, First let's do off, it. let's do it. Okay. Yeah. So obviously, you know, it's funny because, 
you see online everybody post pictures of like the car trick and these are these are these packs that they bought in from like target or walmart and maybe they're lgs but usually target or walmart and um they're uh you can skip most of the commons, I think. These are Floodborne. People have seen these. <laughs> oh, oh, first okay. legendary. Legendary right off the bat. And then Alice. Oh, Alice. Nice. Girl. By Alice Prezzoni. Yeah. And Boyle. Yep. Okay. There you well, go. there's one legendary right off the bat. Yeah. Well, that was quick. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think again, it should be about seven. It should be about seven. So yeah, so you see people post these pictures in their, in their car, and those are these packs, and they're like, oh, yeah, oh, this the is the trick. car trick. Yeah. The card trick has never worked for us. Yeah, it hasn't. Um, so full common. Yeah. Yeah, and but I, but the thing is, so so you're led to believe if you look online and you're seeing what people post on social is that like these blister packs are like so much better because everybody's pulling enchanteds. But um, I mean, we've pulled a legendary thus far, so you know we're well, off to a good start. Thing is, everybody what? who my point is, everybody who whiffs doesn't post their their stuff online. That is true. So, that is true. You know. Um, Photo. Foil rare. Foil okay. Rare. Yeah. Vicky Z. Mariana Moreno. I feel like this is a little bit of like a blast from the past. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, Doing yeah. Doing this with Floodborne. <laughs> with Floodborne cards. We have a lot of Floodborne cards. This is probably a terrible idea. That is true. We have a lot of Floodborne cards. That is very true. But you know what I don't have? Four Beast Tragic Heroes. So. Oh! oh! Well, that hits you. Okay. You uh, you that just happened. slow roll those. <laughs> um, you just walked right into that one. Just like Well, you told through. me to go quickly. Well, that's true. No, that's, that's just well, happened. Well, through the commons. Oh, <laughs> well, wow. Well, I was hitting, I was hitting rares. So I was like, oh, rare, rare. 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 Oh. Not rare. Right okay. face. So after a year of doing content, no, right. two years of doing content, I think that might be our third enchanted we've ever pulled yeah, for ourselves. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna glare on this. I'm just gonna put this over here. Okay. Um, yeah, so. Um, that just happened. Uh, yeah. Not, not a bad start, not a bad start. Well. <laughs> um, okay. Well, yeah. Um, How do you feel about that, Liam? I mean, at this point, is the like, card trick working? I guess. <laughs> I mean, the value here. Oh, super rare. Yep. And ooh, oh, okay. Rapunzel it's a sunshine. common, but I just love that card. I love that art. Yeah, we did a whole video on it. Yeah. Nobody watched it. Oh really? Yeah, but it was eh. a good video. Go watch. Go watch our Rapunzel Sunshine video. We talk about the concept art and everything else. It's like, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So. Um, it's and it's Aubrey Archer. So let me talk about the price of this because um, I think when now that we have the enchanted, uh, I know a lot of viewers are kind of doing the math here and they're like, okay, so what, you know, does that pay off the case? The answer is no. Um, <laughs> because, so because everybody does this kind of math with right. like booster boxes and everybody knows the price of a booster box. And nowadays you can get them, you know, oftentimes for about, um, like 100 like oh, yeah at, on the low end like 110 or mm -hmm. so in the right places but you know anywhere from 110 to 150 on the high end Oop. but sorry um, i'm like really fumbling with these uh so yeah now you gotta take a really slow those yeah enchanted. right um so yeah so everybody's used to seeing two uh two beasts you're yeah, not the right ones though that is true <laughs> not the ones you want not the ones i want <gasps> liam needs beast tragic heroes to finish off his deck so um, and you might have just heard our dishwasher get done. <laughs> I can edit background. that out. You're not supposed to see oh, it. Oh, sorry. I can edit our out dishwasher sound. totally did not just get finished. Yeah. Um, so there's green mm -hmm. presents. Mm -hmm. yeah. So anyway, all right. Back to the back to the price here. So the yeah. question is, um, what did I pay for this? So uh, this box I got, um, you know, a deal. Uh, Gold Star Collectibles I think was was selling this, and I got it for two hundred for the case. Now, we don't talk a lot about like value and money on this channel. We're more about the gameplay and stuff. But but when you're doing these box openings, I think it's important to let people know like what we paid and like kind of the, the value and everything else. So um, so that works out to about like four dollars and something per pack, mm -hmm. um, which is good for these blister packs. So going back to the Hercules, <laughs> um, that Hercules is not equivalent to what we paid here. Um, so certainly not a home run or anything, but man, that feels good right off the bat. And um, what? 
Oh, 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 Liam, it's your beast. Beast tragic hero. There you go. Isn't that what you needed? Yes. Beast tragic hero? Well, you got one. You're welcome. Car trick. And apparently it's a thing. So. Okay. Sorry. Now I'm excited. See, isn't it pretty? Yeah. There you it's go. really good. Um, and oh. another legendary bow. That's my first. It's in the first row. Oh, it's the first. So there'll be so. Okay, so there'll be def. Whenever there's one in the first slot, there's always one in the second slot as well, or higher. So if you get um, a super rare in the first slot, you're guaranteed a super rare in the second slot. Um, if you get a legendary in the first slot, you're guaranteed a legendary in the second slot. Well, if you get so, a super rare in the first slot, you're guaranteed a super rare or a legendary, or a legendary in sorry. the second slot. I, did I say that wrong? Yeah, you just said super rare in the second slot. Oh yeah. Super but you rare. could basically like your rarity will always stay the same or go up in the second yeah, slot. That's true. That's true. <laughs> okay. I said that poorly. Um, yeah. Okay. So, wow. Um, super rare. Well, well super, super rare. rare. Um, okay. Well, we're plugging along. This plugging is going along. well. So, okay. So I'm going to actually kind of like, give me a second. I need a little bit more Revisiting the math. Um, you can. Wow. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Revisiting okay. the math. And an average of four legendaries per booster box. We can expect about seven in this case. Okay. About. And we're at four. And we're, and not, we're not even, even halfway, halfway through. Yeah. Um, you must ever be shiny. Um, yeah, this is a blasting press. But Beast Tragic Hero! Mm -hmm. Okay. So now if we're talking about maths, uh, that beast is worth a bit. Um, that beast and the Hercules, again, still not paying this off. But pretty close. We're getting, yeah. Well, not pretty close, but but pretty We're good. getting there. We're and you getting feel there. pretty good with half this box to go, or half this case to go. Rare. Full rare. Full rare. Lucifer. Lucifer has seen some play. Yeah. Uh, a little bit. Yeah. Um, Zach Bivens. And um, there's another player, and I'm sorry I'm forgetting your name, and I'm chatting with you on Twitter right now, so I apologize. But two players took... Um, Emerald Amber decks into the top 64 of DLC Fort Worth, and both of them were running Lucifer, I believe. Nice. Oh, another, another legendary. legendary. Oh, it's oh, a man. Nice. It's not a beast love tragic. Her. So I, I love I, this art so much. I'll never complain about a legendary, but uh, if it's going to be legendaries, I would like it to be beasts. <laughs> well, the most tragic of heroes. The most tragic. Tragic for our wallets. That is very true. You almost had to, when you thought you were going to play in DLC Fort Worth, you, uh, oh, we're going to get another super rare. You almost had to go buy a bunch of the, um, I thought about base it. Base tragic heroes. I considered it. I'm going to separate these out a little I bit because she's a foil. Not. Which, actually, sorry. Ooh. Okay. These are both not foils. Yeah. Um, oh, sticky pack. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, that one's closed forever. Oh no. Oh no. That one, that one's lost to us. Yeah. Every time there's like an anomaly in a pack, like if it's like too, if the glue, if it's too gluey or if it opens weird or it's sealed weird, I'm always like, ah, oh, this must be, this must be a good this one. This must be a special pack. Yeah. They clearly, <laughs> they sealed it extra good to keep the enchanted inside. <laughs> um, I wish that's, I wish it worked like that. Not how that goes. Okay. Another Hercules. That's super okay. rare. Yzma. And a four. Okay. There you go. We're getting to the point in the... Sorry, I have to scoot this over a little bit. We're getting to the point where my arm's starting to get tired. You're only halfway done. I know. It's not you're promising. Not, you're not even halfway done. I am Holy not cow. even halfway done. Now I Enchanted Breath. But like, now I'm pulling for a two Enchanted Box. Like if, if there's another Enchanted in this case, I'm not sure how to interpret that. What do you mean? Like, if you get another enchanted in this case right then then um, we are never buying a booster box again <laughs> booster yeah. packs all the way for us yeah right well <laughs> so normally i mean you they're they're expensive and they're and they're hard to get retail because um 
you know, they're not meant to be sold like this. Right. So, you know, they show up in stores. But so another enchant in this case Black. to me. I'm struggling. That no, means that we're averaging better than one enchanted per booster box. Because it would be 48 packs. We're at 42 packs. Mm -hmm. So we would be at two enchanted. So we'd be averaging an enchanted per 21 packs, which is better than an enchanted per 96 booster packs? box. Yeah, per, per booster box. Oh, yeah. Which, again, like this is all this is all probability, right? Like this is all maths and probability. And, you know, they're in theory, if it's all purely random and there's no force distribution of the enchanteds, mm -hmm. then you would expect that every now and then you'd get in a box with two enchanteds or something like that. So it doesn't prove anything as far as distribution of the cards goes, if that happens. Um, it just means, I don't know. I don't know what it means. It's cool. Mm -hmm. Um, but you'd have to do, I think you'd have to do this over a really, really large sample size to get. To get a really true. Really. Well, yeah, your data, data obviously gets more accurate the more, I love this map, the more yeah. um, data points you collect. Yeah. Yeah. So it could be a really lucky case or. Okay. So here's the question. Do we go, do I open these all now or do you want me to open them as I go? I don't know. What is your, what does your gut tell you? I mean. My gut tells me to go ahead and just open them all now. My gut tells me I'm gonna go to sleep without a chance. Oh yeah, that that's a good that's a good gut call. We have some right there, Liam, on the table. Those are perfect fits. Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely gonna open all of these uh, boxes first. So, um, what is your favorite card from Floodborne? Oh dear. This enchanted Hercules we just pulled. <laughs> I would say my the so we've only pulled two other enchanteds for ourselves, I think. One was the Snow White from this set. Yeah, this set. I think No, no, no. I thought the Snow White was from this set. No, Snow White was um England's? No. It was um It was a Floodborne, I think. So when I oh, said from man. this set. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. I, <laughs> I thought you meant Ursula's return. My bad. Sorry. Yes, yeah. while we're doing this, we are in the middle of Ursula's so, return. So yeah, so we opened um we opened the Snow White. We opened a Pete on camera. Yeah. You were not here. I was not. Um I was dealing with our is daughter. That, is that it? We opened That's a lot it. of product. I know we have, and those are the only two that we've opened for ourselves. Yeah. Um, we've wow. opened a couple for other people. In the first, I love telling this story. I love it. <laughs> Your I hate telling very story. first box you ever opened. My very first box I ever opened. One of Liam. the very first boxes that anyone was ever, ever opened. opened. To be honest. Yeah, it was Gen Con, <laughs> and um, I was playing in a starter deck tournament for Lorcana, and so I missed uh, the. I missed. Um, what do they call it now? Day one. Yeah, there's a, somebody. There's a line for. Or there's a word for it. The line. mob. No, somebody. They termed. It, they like labeled it, like Robin's Burger or Gen Con did. In a, in Wait, a they press. labeled the mob. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, they called it like Line Cana, I think. Oh. Um, which is hilarious. So, um, yeah. So Line Cana. It was a big crush of people trying to get packs, and I missed that drama because I was playing in the. Starduck event, and I ran into a gentleman who owned a card shop, and he realized I was trying to film some content. So we set up a table in the middle of the Gen Con floor, like people everywhere. Uh, you can find this video online still. And um, we just learned that Enchanted's were a thing that morning. Mm -hmm. So literally everybody realized these cards existed. Uh, barely anybody had seen them. And I opened the box. And I'm going through and, you know, open all the, we're seeing all the cards for the first time. It's really great. Uh, I get to the very last pack and it's an Enchanted Elsa in the very last slot. final slot of the box. And it was bonkers. <laughs> and at that point I was Your like, Your hands oh, this is, were shaking. Yeah. It was so funny. I was like, this is super cool. Like, this is awesome. And then I didn't open another one for like ever. 
Um, yeah, until Bloodborne when we open the Snow White. That's true. Actually, so that we opened was, another one for someone. Yeah, we did. So another one of our subscribers sent us a box, and he was like, "Hey, I want to see you all in Enchanted," and uh, we didn't have any Bloodborne boxes at the time because things were super hard to get. And he sent us a Bloodborne box, and we opened it, and we got an Enchanted uh, Madame Mim. So our first two Enchanteds that we ever opened were for other people. Cheshire Cat starting up strong. Okay. So, okay, so these packs, if you remember the case, are separated into two different two different rows. Um, Do you want me to like? I think that's okay. We can see okay. what what there was, and so it's it's inter it'd be interesting. By the way, to see. we haven't gotten a foil legendary yet. Yes, just point out. Right. Yeah, we should. I think we we can expect to see. I forget what the math said. I have to go look it up again. But it's like we can expect to see one in this, or just under one. Um, foil rare. So, yeah. So, what was I saying? Okay, so five legendaries in that row. So, it'll be interesting to see, I think, if there's distribution between the rows. And by that, mm -hmm. I mean, if we get another, like, four or five, so it's pretty even. Or let's say, hypothetically, these are the only five we pull. That means all of them were stacked in that first That first row. row. Oh, oh there you go. Oh, oh my there's goodness. another one. Uh, not a beast. It is not a beast. We're seeing all the legendaries represented. And so, so I don't know why I would find that interesting, but I guess one fun like little tidbit is, um, if you notice when Aaron pulled them out of the box, uh, I was noticing that the art seemed to be all together. So the way they're packaged, mm -hmm. it's like all of the queens, all of the Rayas, and all of the other character beast beast were all together in the box so yeah so that, so that's interesting i don't mm -hmm. know i don't know so so anyway if everything was on one side of the box that means that one of those characters wouldn't have like any any cards. of the good cards yeah yeah so interesting I don't know. so one two three four five six seven so when i say front i think we needed seven legendaries to yep. be on average so we're at seven oh grandpappy we're at seven. That has a special place in our heart. Yes. If you haven't checked out our uh, card reveal video yeah. uh, recently, uh, Liam dressed up as Grandpappy. It's pretty awesome. It was hilarious. It's pretty awesome. And I learned a valuable lesson. Which is? Don't put spirit gum in your eyebrows. Yes. I told you that that wasn't going to work very well. It seemed, I mean, it worked great for the purpose. That is true. And then it did not work great for getting out. It was out. painful on the back end. <laughs> um, I so will man. say, marital bonding moment, painting your husband gray. Yep. Instead of painting the roses red. Yep. As it's it were. Time. Yes. So yeah, so looking at the math again, seven legendaries uh, is what you would expect. So um, if you think about it. Whoa. Another super rare. And another full rare dinner bell. That's our second full rare dinner bell. Um, if you think about it, so Booster Box has 24 packs, and if you have a minimum of three, about, and about an average of four per box, um, and this is 42 packs, we're already beating that average. Yeah. We're at three and a half uh, legendaries per box. And, well, if it were two boxes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nope. Rare. Queen. Rare. Flynn Rider, Queen. his Hold own on. biggest fan. Saw those used this weekend as well. Oh, a DLC? Yeah. A DLC for Worth. A few different uh, Emerald Steel Floodborne decks running Flynn Rider, his own biggest fan. <laughs> Doing some work. Bucky Swan Song. Bucky's Swan Song. There's a rare. Super, super rare. rare. And foil super rare. Foil super rare. All right. Basil. Basil. I wonder if I should start a second. Foils are top. So we're already doing better on foil super rares. Uh, we expect one a, foil legendary. Oh, foil legendary. Yeah, no, we, we need one of those. But um, we expect about 1.75. Oh, legendary. It's not a beast. Amari and foil common. <sighs> um, you expect about 1.75 foil super rares, and we're already beating that. So that's up 
one, two, three, four. And we're at an average of four, man. And we've hit our seven, we're at eight. Eight, yeah. Legendaries, so we've eight. exceeded that. Yeah, I mean. we needed seven of those. Yeah, it's pretty good. We need a another enchanted. You're just getting greedy now. Yes, I am. <laughs> I want a Cinderella enchanted. Oh my goodness, I would die for a Cinderella enchanted. Yeah. Now, the Hercules is cool. Hercules is Graystron. We love Graystron. Fantastic artist. Wonderful person. Yeah. We might get to meet her this year. We might get to meet her this year. So excited. She's yeah. coming and in all the way from Vietnam. An enchanted for her design. Oh, look at that. Um, yeah, so super rares. 21. Another super rare? Alright. So definitely, one, two, three, definitely super rare heavy. For sure. So yeah, kind of. Super. I was just looking. So we have 15 super rares, mm -hmm. not kind of the foils, and I think we should expect about 21. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. I mean, I, we've I've seen you know about 11 and 11 or 12 per booster box. So, in 48 packs, I think. Oh, oh. legendary bell, and foil uncommon. Wow. Whew. This is a whole different experience. Here's, here's the thing about doing this. This is, why this is fun. Um, I have no idea what to expect for rarity. Mm -hmm. So you do a booster box and you get to like four legendaries. And at that point you're like, all right, anything else is kind of gravy. Or if you're opening packs and you haven't gotten any yet and you're getting them in the box, you can you can almost predict. You're like, all right. Oh, oh, oh another my one. goodness. Mufasa. Mufasa, another card that's he's playing. A foil super, super rare. rare. My goodness. What is going on? Um, I don't know. What was I saying? I was telling stories. Oh yeah. So you get to the end of the box and you're like, all right, I've got four packs left and I haven't gotten, um, you know, I've only got one legendary or like I can, I can probably expect two legendaries per right. pack and, or two legendaries, you know, in these last few packs. But here, I, I just don't know. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it is such just a, yeah. So it's 10 legendaries. Rare, rare, foil and common. Okay. I mean, we got an enchanted, so I do feel like we can't really complain. No, no. I mean, I'm not. No, no complaints. I mean, if I'd opened this whole box and there'd been no enchanted, I would have been disappointed. But also, at one ninety per six packs, like it's, it wouldn't be. Right. It wouldn't be unreasonable. Um, but two would just kind of like just blow this. Blow this case out of the water. Blow this popsicle stand, I don't know, <laughs> out of the <laughs> sky. Popsicle stand out of the sky. Okay. Yeah, I'm just mixing all the metaphors. Okay. Blah. Mixing all the metaphors. So two bells. I mean, so there's some, I mean, some of those legendaries do see play. Scar, not so much. He did for a while, but he's been seeing some tournament play. Mufasa <laughs> sees tournament play. Foil Prince John. That's not a bad hit. Um, and then Beast Tragic here obviously sees all the play. All the play. Well, you got one. Um, yes. What? One. Ah. Uh, is the loneliest. Where's here? You have this. Oh yeah. Sorry. Yeah. So one. One two three four five six seven eight nine. I do remember when we were opening Floodborne that these packs would like split a lot more than the first chapter would. Mickey? Yeah, I suppose. And Kuya's Legend of the Sword and the Stone. Kuya, wonderful artist, wonderful person, and an art director. Oh. Kuya oh, Jaffe. Yeah, Kuya is an art director now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, After yeah. this, we only got two packs left. Nearing getting, the end getting, of your... I was getting greedy and hoping for that other... Enchanted. Mm -hmm. All right. Seventeen. So, yeah, so, okay. So, to summarize, if things hold steady, um, I feel like this case, this blister case... Oh, I see a legendary... 
Oh, oh there you go, Liam. <laughs> oh, there he is. Show me an enchanted under there just to make it extra. Oh, no. no. Okay. <laughs> okay. So uh, I have to check the price of Beast, but it was around 50. I don't know. It's, okay. it's up there. So but, we might have gotten. I mean, pretty, pretty gosh darn close. Um, I think with all of those legendaries, you think about. Yes. I don't know. But yeah, certainly, certainly this was not a terrible, a terrible day. Wow. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Ah. So, you know, super rares kind of hit or miss. Super rares are a little bit lower than I would have expected, but not awful. And there's a little more variability, but definitely more foil super rares and the legendaries. Holy Moly. cow. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Holy nine, guacamole. 10, 11. Super rare. Super rare. Uh, Full of common. All right. So, wow. 11. 11? 11. Oh, 11 legendaries? 11 no legendaries, less. yeah. So, an 11 legendaries, so that would be an average of, let's say this were two boxes. That'd be, hold on. There were. <laughs> Liam's asking Chad GPT uh, what, <laughs> what the math is. Don't tell him I use One, two, three, four, five. Um. What a fun... This was fun. What a fun experiment. I want to do this again. To see how this went. So, um, yep. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Yeah. And uh, awesome. I don't know. Have a happy week. Yeah. All right. Sign off, catchphrase. Bye.